Hey everyone, today Nancy and I are at Partridge Point, right near Alpena, Michigan, where we live. And Nancy doesn't remember ever being here before. <laughs> I've seen the videos. They're great, you should watch some of them. So anyhow, we're gonna look for fossils today. Uh, it's finally a nice day, it's 60 degrees. I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but it might come off because it finally feels like spring here. So I started out along the shore a little bit and found this kind of nice little coral fossil here. But it's catch and release day, so it's being released. But let's go over here and see what Rob's up to. He's doing a little more in-depth digging. I'm trying something new. Uh, I'm trying a technique I learned from Wild Kyle and Paleo Chris when I was there down there this winter. Uh, they use a sifter and so there's all these big rocks on the top. And I always move those and put them back when I'm done, but I get down to the smaller stuff. And I'm just going to scoop this into here. This is where we insert the note that he forgot to bring a shovel, which might have been a handy tool. Yeah, I don't know if the shovel would have worked that well, actually. But yeah, that was the plan. <laughs> so then I'm going to sift it into here, get rid of the sand. And then uh, got a little cleaner fossils to work with here, or frocks. There'll be a lot of fossils in there. So I'm going to see if this method works any better. I'll let you know if I find anything. It's one of the most common things to find in this beach is a crinoid stem. A uh, crinoid is an animal uh, that looks kind of like a plant. It's got like a long stem. And on the top, it's got a, a head called a calyx. Um, the calyx is what I really like to find. I don't find very many of them. But uh, you'll find other things here, brachiopods. There's a little crinoid stem. Uh, there's some corals here, something called bryzoan. And I'm not seeing that much in here except for a few crinoid stems so far. Another crinoid stem. Okay, just out over and came across this pretty cool fossil. Obviously some form of coral going on there. If you flip it over, you can see the structure of the branches on the back. And we'll leave that here for the next few hundred million years again. Also find lots of crinoid stems. I'm sure Rob is finding those in his sifting over there. And uh, he mentioned taking his you know, sweatshirt off because it was such a nice day. I think the wind shifted and it dropped about 20 degrees and got windy. So, But we're out here, we're gonna be tough for you guys. So stay tuned. Nancy found something. Nice branching coral. Well, that's neat. Nothing really on the other side. No, but that's really cool looking. Just in this one little spot I knelt down, I found all those crinoid stems. They're kind of thick around here. That's what you find more than just about anything. So Nancy's strategy and my strategy have been different. I've been digging in the ground more and she's been looking for surface things. I think she didn't want to break a nail. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Um, anyway, just found this one, which I thought had some interesting pattern to it. Yep, can't then, see what kind of coral that is. And then this one required a lot of work because it was out in the icy cold waters. Okay, maybe it's not really ice, but it's, it felt really, really cold. And part of it was sticking up. So I thought, oh, I'll pick that up. And put, then it was like buried. So I had to try to unearth it while digging in the icy cold waters. And um, then I wasn't sure if it was part of the bedrock, but it did come out. So very nice size. Kind of ignore this part, but very nice size horn coral. Flip it over there. That's that's a big one. That's really cool. So that was the one I had to work the hardest for today, I guess. There's something I didn't expect to find. I'm pretty sure that's banded iron formation. It's tiny. Bugles. Oh. Ooh, that's a crinoid head. 
see like a little stuff coming out the sides there. And then I had one more. Ooh, another crinoid head. You're doing great. I thought you'd like it. What's the other side look like? Thought I'd get the stamp of approval. Oh, yes. Very good. Hey, it's about a week later and a whole lot colder. Uh, we woke up to snow yesterday. It's mostly melted today, but it's still really, really cold. Uh, when I was here last time with Nancy about a week ago, I tried a new microphone setup and it did not work with the wind at all. So I'm going to try to salvage what I can of that video and mix in some new stuff today and hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Here's a decent sized horn coral. Not as big as Nancy found, but it's kind of cool looking. Some sort of a coral fossil here. Let's see where it grows out from kind of a center spot there it looks like. Another coral of some sort. You can see out in the water the bedrock that's breaking up. That's where all these fossils are coming from. That whole area in front of me right there, that was all underwater last year. When Nancy and I were here, I looked it over pretty well. I didn't find too much out there. Another interesting thing is that there's a lot of iron in the water right here. Just in this one little section of beach. It's kind of interesting that you don't find very many Petoskey stones here. I did find one the other day when I was here. It was out in the water there. But you don't typically find a lot of Petoskey stones. Petoskeys are from the Devonian period, and so are the rest of these fossils, so I don't really know why they're in some places and not others. There's different formations, so I guess they're probably from little slightly different layers. Still cold. There's a coral. And I believe that's a horn coral. Pretty big one. Not sure what that is, but some sort of a big corally type of thing out here in the water. It's much bigger than what we've been finding. This is a zebra mussel, which is an invasive species. But that is a brachiopod, which is very old. Another crinoid stem. You can see there's just stuff all over the place here. There's a crinoid stem right in the middle. There's a little disc from a crinoid right there. Another thing that's very common on this beach are death plates, where you just get these uh, bunch of fossils just kind of all stuck together on a big rock. There's a lot of those here. I'd almost go as far as to say most of the rocks here are like that. Really cool stuff. Some are more plain. Sometimes you flip them over, there's something on the back. I've been just digging one little area here. I haven't moved and uh, you can just see the, all the crinoid stems I found. There's a little itty bitty brachiopod right there. That's a bryzoan. And so is this. And a little bigger brachiopod there. Kind of a cool looking fossil there. Ooh, 
Look at that one. It's kind of neat. I guess that's a crinoid stem. It's a really little one. a couple cool death plates. Lots of crinoid bits and pieces. Digging another hole. Just found these crinoid stems in this one and that which I believe is a bryzoan again. I decided not to bring the gold classifier back, that sifter thing I had last time, that's a gold classifier. That was a eighth inch classifier and really all that took out is a sand. Uh, I need to take out some more of these little tiny rocks. So quarter inch would be a better size for here. I love it when they have those little branches coming off them. Check this one out. Look at that. That's really cool. Oh, a bunch of zebra mussel shells here. But look at this. I'm pretty sure that's a bryzoan, which is a moss animal. I don't know any more than that. That is part of a crinoid calyx, which is like the head of the crinoid. They have these really geometric patterns on them sometimes. A friend of mine found one this spring that was just amazing. That's cool. Look at that area right there. It's like a branching thing coming out there. Never seen something like that. These death plates are just so much fun to look at. It's just like you can just imagine the stuff all settling down to the bottom of the sea. And there it is, 350 million years later. Look at that horn coral in there. Been digging around here and found a couple of really nice little brachiopods. There's not as many of these as there are some other places I know around here, but there's a few. I thought those two were pretty nice. Here's my latest finds. A little crinoid stem. A brachiopod. A little brachiopod. And this crinoid has something going on there. I imagine that's where it goes into the calyx or the head of it. I'm not 100% sure. It's different anyhow. And then there's a crinoid uh, disc right there. You can get it to focus. It's got little spikes on it. It's kind of cool. You may have noticed that there's an island offshore here. It's called Sulphur Island. I went out there in my kayak a few years ago, and there's completely different rocks out there. Uh, no sulfur that I could smell or see, 
But uh, really, really neat stuff. So click on that video and I'll see you over there.